morning and welcome to another snowy beautiful snowy morning uh, there's no wind the winds died down it was really cold in the night I mean seriously seriously really cold so cold that my Osmo was in my pocket in my coat in the van and it's dead battery completely dead I've got a little battery pack on it at the moment trying to get a few ounces out of it just so I can say good morning until I go back to the van and charge it so the winds died down now um, we're in a sheep field at the moment and we're looking at this see the viaduct in the background yes we're shooting the viaduct again but there's some nice cluster of trees just there and I like those cluster of trees so I said to Darren when we looked over the road last night we need to get a shot of that first thing in the morning so that's what we're planning the plan is get a simple shot of the tree or the cluster of trees with the viaduct white snowy mountains behind it <coughs> possibly a second one if I go over towards the wall over on that side and get one on the wall and try and get the wall as a bit of a leading line so maybe the two shots and then we're going back to the van for breakfast and then we're going to go and try and find Charlie's tree now Darren's been researching last night to try and find it and he reckons he's found the tree uh, we went for a recce last night we went up onto the bank up onto the limestone bit a little bit walked along the edge uh, it got really really dark pitch black in fact and we had to find our way back across the fields to get back to the vans um, but we didn't find it so he's had a bit of a recce on the old youtube on the old uh, googles and uh, he thinks he's found it instead of us turning right we've got to turn left so that's the plan for today that's the plan what we're going to do we're hoping there's going to be a bit of color there's a lot of clouds starting to build up now but if that light over there just catches some of this cloud above it it might be quite nice or at least a break of the cloud so we can get a bit of sunlight on the back of these snowy mountains or hills and uh, it'll look quite nice but yeah this is a bit of a different shot of the viaduct you don't normally see this one so hopefully it'll be quite nice so i'm not going to talk too much i'm going to let me battery charge up the best it can and uh, i'll speak to you if i manage to get this shot this is the sort of crap that really upsets photographers. We're facing that direction, hoping the light's gonna come across and just catch a little bit. Look at it going off behind us. It's absolutely out of this world. It is stunning, absolutely amazing. And we are shooting in the wrong direction and we can't do much about it. I'm gonna try and get a shot of Ingleborough because, oh, it's flipping, oh, I'm so angry. <laughs> Look at it, ripple after ripple after ripple. It's just phenomenal. Oh it's just got to get across can it just reach can it just make its way across the sky oh man photographer's nightmare <laughs> we managed to get something we did manage to get something the sky over there <clears throat> after i stopped speaking to you went absolutely bonkers it really did get massive and it started to drift across the sky and it went up over ingleborough so i managed to run over the field a little bit I set up a panoramic I hope please I hope it's worked because if it's worked it should look really nice and you're going to see it right now And then after that, um, I run over to the wall, which I'm right up now at the moment, which is quite nice because the sheep have been up and down the wall, so the floor's a little bit warmer because um, they've managed to keep it warm with all their poops. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, look at the look at the the mountain range now, the hillside now. I think I'm not sure whether, I'm not sure what that's called. Ingleton's at the end, and it? so it's not Ingleton, but whatever that hill is there, up behind Ribble Head, is just looking divine, absolutely divine, with its beautiful golden morning fresh light on it and it's on the snow as well and you don't get to see that very often certainly people like me don't and it looks beautiful against that dark backdrop now i've also shot down this way there was a little faint hint of pink above the viaduct but it was only a hint of pink it was very pastel very very light um, the only thing i'm hoping for now and it is actually starting to happen is it's just catching the tops of the hills right behind it so if it just gets high enough to drift down with this nice warm golden glow 
over the top you know over the hills behind it that would be really nice i'm going to run back over to the position i was in but i've taken a couple of shots down here as well with this nice uh, old um, stone wall leading down with the sheep in it all gathered down that end and then i know the tree intersects the viaduct but it's just nice backdrop to lead into it <coughs> so camera set up here at the moment quite high looking over the wall um, so we're just watching the, the light coming down the hill but yeah if it does catch that hillside behind i'll get another one there and we'll go back to the van um, coffee breakfast and then we're gonna go hunting for the hunting for this tree but yeah pretty not a bad morning even though the sun was not where we actually wanted it to be or the light should i say i think we've managed to come away with a couple of nice images um darren will probably use the sky and blend it into his image anyway you know what he's like <laughs> you know he's, he's here look he'll probably blend it in and if in all fairness if it works i might have a go as well but um yeah no it's uh yeah it was pretty good pretty good This is it. This is where the moment I've been waiting for. This is this is actually almost the image I was thinking about. Backlit, the sun coming across the hillside. Oh, there's a hare running across the field. Oh wow! You're not going to see this. It's, it's no. It's, I was going to spin the camera around. He legged it. He was going for it then, right across the field. That's amazing. I love watching wildlife. But yeah, just I'm going to zoom you in. Look at this. This is what it's all about. This is where it comes together and it really does feel nice so you've got your tree backlit or at least silhouetted against the, the the bright light there you've got the sunlight hitting the back back end of the back edges of the arches just there you've got all this hillside just glowing with this nice warm soft side light glow which is giving you the ripples in it and uh, yeah I've even got some sheep in the foreground if I wanted to get some sheep in uh, up here somewhere wherever they are just there um, but yeah, I'm shooting high to try and keep that tree line from clipping the top of the hills, but that's really, really nice. So let's just have a, another little one as it moves up. But that's a beautiful, warm, beautiful, beautiful, warm uh, shot this morning. So I'm quite pleased with that. I'm quite pleased. We've got, a, we've got a two or three images that I think will be really, really nice. Really nice. No wind. It's so calm. I can hear a dog barking over in the farm. If you come over to get us in a minute because we're in the sheep field but um yeah beautiful beautiful i just wonder whether i can try and get one more just before it's all over stunning stunning He's done it, he's done it. Darren's claimed his tree, he's found his tree. In front of me right now is Charlie Waite's tree. Uh, he took a picture of this. I don't know why it's so famous, apart from the fact that Charlie Waite is uh, quite a big photographer. Um, first man photography, Adam, done an interview with him over here and it was about this tree and stuff as well. It was on his website. You can go and I'll put a link for it if I remember rightly. If I remember, I'll put it in the description so you can have a look at his uh, page. Um, Adam's a cracking photographer and he came over and done a full interview with Charlie uh, and it was pretty good it's all on YouTube to watch now we're shooting it from the opposite side we're looking back at Ingleborough behind it and the reason being is the snows come across these 
the limestone rocks and the stones and they look really good there's loads of little stripes they're almost like a tiger pattern and it looks really really stunning and all the snows captured around the side of the the tree it's all where it's hit the tree and stuck to the tree full front on you know where the wind's been hitting it and um it looks really good it looks really really nice now again i'm talking to you my microphone's on the inside and i hope to god that you can hear me because i forgot my microphone was inside my coat um but yeah it's really really good it looks really really nice and it's quite moody i think it'll probably end up a black and white i don't do a lot of black and white coat, um, photographs because i like that that tone of the browns in it but i'll do the two i'll do a black and white and um a normal one but there's no color in it anyway it's it's really really nice but yeah beautiful tree i'm going to spin you around now so you're going to have a quick look at it and then we are going to go around it and get the classic shooting back that way with the viaduct in the background you might just be able to see the viaduct over my shoulder over there and that's what we're going to do we're going to get the viaduct but yeah darren's claiming this uh darren wait charlie wait what more can i say it's now darren waits tree all right he can have this he found it he researched it last night you can't see him on the camera he's behind He's behind there somewhere there he is just over my shoulder there um, but he researched it he got on the old googles last night and he was not going to give up until he found it and we found it or he found it <laughs> i'm just claiming the pictures um but yeah really really nice absolutely stunning what a tree as well what a tree it is all on its own now i am not going to disclose the uh, location of this for two reasons the first reason is we found it no uh the first reason is it's nice to have something that you know where it is and other people are not quite sure darren took a lot of time last night looking for this have a go yourself see if you can find this tree that's the reason why if you really are desperate and you really want to know just put, you know send me a message go through my website or anything like that. go through my website or my facebook send me a message i'll tell you where it is but i'm not going to openly disclose it because it'd be such a shame to have millions of photographs of this tree that um charlie Waite found and did and i'm going to make it too easy for you so i'm not going to make it too easy for you okay that's that's the only reason uh and i've got a picture of it <laughs> no no it's just it's just that i just don't want to make this one too easy for everybody because it's a beautiful tree and it's dead easy to get to it really is so yeah if you need to know where it is give us a shout right so let's uh let's make sure we've got this one done and it's in the bag and then i'm gonna go around the other side and i'll show you what it's like from the other side and why it's so good You know what this means when the old glass is on the end of the nose and that's not taking the mick out of school teachers that means i'm concentrating this is a peach of an image i can see why or when mr charlie found this he got excited and taken lots of pictures of it because it's a stunner i'm afraid it's a black and white image we've got a gray sky behind us i think we're going to get mullered a bit later on it's looking really quite dark and gray around us in all fairness um but yeah i mean what a tree it drapes itself over the top of the viaduct you've got a beautiful limestone leading path leading you into it leading path leading line leading you into it it, it cannot be better designed than this tree i am telling you this is probably one of the best trees if not the best tree up in this area i've i don't think i've ever seen a better tree than this and there's a sheep going to come in as well i wonder if he'll just be in my shot and take my timer off and just as he walks down, I'm hoping I'm going to get a sheep in the gap. Come on, Mr. Sheep. I'll turn you around so you can see him. One. There's one. Can we get two oh, yes. two sheeps? See if we can get three sheeps in there. Three is always better than one and two. Get your legs in. We've got some sheeps in there. You can see the sheeps coming down, can't you? Let me just spin you around. But look at that for a tree. Look at the leading line coming in. The viaducts underneath there. It is an absolute winner beautiful and those sheep have just added to it as well i really like them little sheep in there really nice let's put my two second timer back on but yeah what a fantastic 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 tree i'm not going to say much anymore because it really is it's brilliant um we're obviously going to try and do a couple of variations a couple of different shots um we're here so we might as well but wow charlie wait well done and it now 
now it belongs to him, Darren Wheat. <laughs> I'm sure he's related somewhere. So my last shot this is definitely the last one before we go back for breakfast now he didn't take me back for breakfast we were so keen on getting to this tree he's like sod you and your breakfast i'm coming for the tree and that was it done on our way and he's got big feet and big legs and i couldn't keep up but this is my last one i think i've had a shot from over onto the left i've had a shot from somewhere in the middle um and now i've just moved up a bit closer now saying it's the last one we are going to move up a bit closer still so we don't want to put the footprints in the snow so that's why we're moving forward so as far as i know this will be my last one if not i'll put the last couple up on the image um again thank you for watching these videos it really means a lot if you can uh, give us a like and a share and uh, by sharing i mean share it with other people on your facebook on your instagram on anything you know it really does mean a lot it's a shame we haven't got any color over this tree just uh, changing subject like I do, but it is going to be a bit of a monochrome looking image. Um, but yeah, do like and subscribe. If you do subscribe, hit the notification bell. It pops up, uh, gives you the notifications as and when I put other videos out. Uh, I put landscape photography videos out on a Wednesday and a Sunday. I'm still managing to do that at the moment. I've got plenty, even though they're not all brilliant. Sometimes they're a little bit normal, um, but normal is the real life world, isn't it? Um, I don't strive to be the best photographer in the world. I just strive to get an image every day. Um, and yeah. Till next time, thanks for watching. Do leave us a comment, love reading your comments. Have you ever been to this tree? Let me know if you've been to this tree and if you have, I'd love to see your photographs. I really, really would. So let us have a look. Till next time, ciao for now. And uh, I'll even put Darren's photograph up because like I say, he owns this one. This is his today. Nice one. See you soon guys, ciao for now.